So I found this old pair of scissors, which you've clearly seen some better days. You can see there's a bit of play here in the um, so that is obviously too loose over there. You can see it's quite kind of rusted there. Rather obviously rusted here. Nice and uh, orange rust. So I'm going to dismantle it. I'm going to take this paint off it. Uh, file this. It's a bit rough in here. Just the way it's, I suppose it's cast. So let's move it out a little bit. And the same with uh, this side here. Yeah, so we'll flatten this off both sides. And then we'll put a new edge on it. And yeah, maybe sort this screw out as well a bit. safer to close it when you start trying to turn it here. Oh, that's some good news there. Didn't really want to fight with that. So some steel wool. Apparently magic near is the trick or has the magic or something. I like steel wool because it doesn't take off, well, the, the good metal basically just takes off loose rust. And sandpaper, I'd be worried about you know, wearing this out, these rusty spots, taking away lots of good steel with it just to get rid of some rust, so it's basically just surface rust, I mean, if you look here, it's already coming shinier. There's a bit rusty. Get into these nooks and crannies as well. Mm. Better ready. Take the paint off, I guess. Uh, paint stripper. Let's hope it does what it says on the tin, right? This is a good shake. Sounds angry. Leave you lot to watch that. I'm not watching that. I suppose not quite paint dry, but paint stripper soften paint. Twenty minutes. Oh, that certainly didn't need a uh, ten minutes, let alone twenty. To start working. Actually, just taking off. Paint with a paintbrush. Still 
method to get the uh, surface paint off that's come loose so that we can get to the paint underneath it with the paint stripper. Yeah, a little bit longer now. Okay, and now to get the paint removal off this. Just say wash up the water, so. Green scar to the rescue. Actually looks kind of cool. I was thinking of repainting it, but now <laughs> I'm thinking not. Just to dry it off. Bog standard toilet paper. See, even cleans rust off. The trick is just not to use it when things are too wet, because then it dissolves. Okay, I think maybe time to file just some of these rough edges here. It always seem to uh, catch on the fingers. You can see that ridge there. Kind of uh, sticks in your fingers. Basically it looks like it was in a mold. That I'll have to do. So now I'm just going to clean up the, I suppose it's the inside of the blade, if it's the outside. This is very fine stone, so I'm just trying to clean it up. So we'll change the color than anything else. Get rid of any nicks or gouges on this side. Very um, hard to see in the camera, but it's it's pretty brown. I said mostly removing rust. If you look here, you might just be able to see the I suppose it's from the grinding the marks that go left to right. Well, say so this way, across <coughs> across the blade instead of the length. And here's the other one. Oh, here we go. Sort of a before and uh, after. See. Yeah, that's getting quite a bit shiny as well now. Okay, that's about enough to match that.
<clears throat> now to sort oh suppose these two edges out. Okay, now we take the angle grinder. Just kidding. <clears throat> take our little file. I'm just gonna using the light here. Oops. This is uh, soft, so. That's uh, getting dangerously sharp already. <coughs> Bloody Rona. Sorry if I was moving you about, but I was trying to catch this, show you the light. Now you can see how bright and shiny these are. Try and touch up the screw a little bit. Graunch from somebody's previous attempts to unscrew this. Try it again by putting it into a piece of wood. I think that was surprisingly effective. And this bit here is actually quite smooth now. So hopefully I've saved a bit of the metal. A little bit less to file off and to cut through. What the difference? I'm just trying to take off the minimum amount of material. Just giving it a clean, you know, slightly uh, unusual way. Eh? As you can see, it certainly takes off some of the rust. That's that's a little loose still. <laughs> yeah, it's still a little loose. Now it's time for a better screwdriver than that piece of nonsense. I'll use something that's hollow ground, two grinding wheels probably on each side, maybe for safety, <laughs> hold it 
closed again. Effortless, basically, to... Um, uh, it's still a little loose, but much better. So I picked up a magnetized little piece of scrap. Let's try that. Uh, that's definitely... Um, Got some authority there. I think what we should be doing is testing this. Yeah, th that that seems a lot sharper. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah, I think it's sharp now. Cool. So there we go. We now have a much more functional pair of scissors. Quite a bit shinier too on the handles, got black flaking paint, rust is gone, rust is gone, play is gone from about there, so the play disappears, if I hold it right open, yeah there's a tiny little bit of play, and, then, and they cut well, so that's all good, I think we call it there.